Okay, today I'll be showing you guys the absolute easiest way to get the Fish Finder in Terraria 1.4 PC version. So what you want to do is, of course, uh, pick a character and pick your world. First, uh, you want to make sure the autosave is off, and you also want to make sure that you have no currency on your person. You're going to see why that is in a little bit. So what you're actually going to want to do is you're going to want to wait until a new quest becomes available from the angler so you're not as pressed for time when you're trying to obtain the fish finder. The strategy does allow you to obtain the fish finder in like just under an hour. That's how long it took me. Hopefully you get a bit luckier. What you want to do is get the... Requ well, first what you want to do is you want to get the requested uh, quest item when it is time to do it. But do not give it to the angler right away. What you want to do actually is you want to put it in a chest, uh, like I have done here. And, uh, and you'll put it in the chest and you will save and exit the world. So, and uh, I've already done that, so I'm not going to redo that just for the video. I'm just saying that's what you have to do beforehand. And... And then make sure it is a chest. It cannot be a piggy bank or a safe. It has to be a chest. Or anything that is not connected to your inventory, like your player's inventory. So, now what you want to do is, now everything's set up, you want to go to the angler. And you want to give him the quest item, obviously. So, you give them the quest item, and when you do, there will be two different outcomes, and we'll be going over both of those outcomes. So, like I said, there is two outcomes. So, the first outcome is, so first, just, you know, give him the quest item. Uh, and as if he gives you something that you don't want. Now, obviously, you need, like, the sextant and two other things, I forget what they were, to make the fish finder. If you, uh get one of those you would do something you would do the second uh, outcome or with anything else that you would like but i don't want these so what you want to do is when you get something you don't like it's just you know alt f4 and you hop back on into terraria now that you're back in terraria uh you'll notice that your character will look a bit different that means that you the the the, the method is working now that you're back into the world you will notice that I no longer have those items that I had earlier. You will also notice, before I move on, is that, yep, this is back in the chest. Now, the second outcome is obviously what you do if you get something you want. Now, we're just going to pretend that I get something I want for this, because there's no guarantee that I will. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, press item. Now, let's say I wanted these. Let's just say I did. I really don't, but let's say I do. What you'd want to do then is you just simply want to die. That's all you want to do is die. Uh, easiest way is, you know, get up high and then, you know, just kill yourself. That's the absolute easiest way to do this. Uh, and this is exactly why you do not want currency on you, is because you will lose this currency. And then, once again, you ult it 4. And you will go back into Terraria. Right, now, as a moment of truth, as you can see, I do still have this item in my inventory. Not only that, but once again, the quest item is still in the chest. So let's say this these crate potions were the sextant and I wanted the other two. I could continue going until I got the other two. And that's pretty much it. There all is to this method. Like I said, you could probably get the fish finder in just under an hour and as you know the fish finder is a vital uh, key component to crafting the cell phone which I have which is proof that this works besides the, this video itself and I hope this video guys will help you obtain your own fish finder see ya